November of 2021, our family sold our Colorado home and many of our belongings. We moved into an RV to find financial freedom, spend more time together, and travel the country to see incredible places and greet some of our closest family and friends. We're a family of four, plus two dogs, that live in a 42-foot fifth wheel. This is our creative house, and this is how our journey got started. Good. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Bye bye. Bye. Did we just buy an RV? We, we just bought an RV. Oh my gosh. <laughs> over, we're like literally over text messages over, and phones. Over the phone. Well, we're going to go pick it up after our house closes. Yeah, after our house closes, we're going to go take a trip to Texas. You haven't been here yet. Or Sidney Stone. Yellowstone. Oh, yeah, we're going to Yellowstone later. Shiny stone. <laughs> We're going to shiny, shiny stone. stone. What is that? It's a truck. It's a truck. That's our new car. Yeah, what do you think? What do you think?
first. Ready to go inside? We made it through our first night <laughs> um, and it was great. Honestly, we weren't cold um, and it got down to 38 degrees here in Texas, which we are not anticipating. So we brought our sheets and comforter and things like that and um, Emerson got a little cold up in the loft, but it's mainly because I just didn't bring him a ton of covers and the kid like kicks off his covers anyways. so. Um, this morning we are getting ready to head out, so we have filled up our um, truck's tires, uh, air shocks, getting that all ready, the hitches installed, everything is packed, but we're getting ready for the day. We have no idea where we're going to stay tonight. Part of us just wants to park the RV in a parking lot and go and spend the night in a hotel until we have all of this stuff figured out. Um, the other part of us is like... Beds were comfy. We had everything we needed. Let's just spend the night in the in the in our home in our RV. <laughs> so we will see. We have nothing booked. I think we're just gonna play it by ear. But we're gonna try to make it to Dollhart because that is halfway in between uh, where we are in Texas right now and home, home in Colorado. It's been fun, Texas. Oil fields. We're literally in the middle of nowhere. Oil fields. I guess my backpack's over there. So we went to air up the tires this morning and um, while they were over there, they also aired up the air shocks in the back for towing and one air shock was not holding air. So then we had to take the truck up to a tire shop and get a special wrench to tighten it, something, I don't know, but now it's holding, which is great. Hooked up the RV uh, and now there is a brake light out and we're not sure why. It looks like a fuse is potentially burned out. Um, we're not sure and they don't know if they have the fuse. So we'll see. It is noon and we were going to leave at 10 this morning. So a couple little setbacks. That's okay. Not any rush. A little bit. So it's a little bit more. Only ran over one curb. <laughs> so here's a question. When you're towing a giant fifth wheel, do you have to use the truck? The tr the what is that even called? The truck fuel the stop? Tr the truck pumps. The truck pumps? Because see, we tried to use a regular pump. See that nice lady over there? Yeah. We kind of uh, blocked in her car just a little bit. Came in a little close Jeez. to it. She moved it for us. We've been another five gallons. But we're fine. 
Didn't hit anything. First fuel stop, we didn't hit anything. So it's fine. People usually hit something on their first fuel stop, I don't know. But I mean, it was could've. still a foot and a half, two feet. You could have driven a Mack truck through there. Like six inches, maybe? No. It was <laughs> Slides in. <sighs> we have one slide left. Fridge decided to kick on. I think we're getting a little bit of power from the truck. Possibly the sun. Let's get out of here. night in the RV, where we're staying all winter, up in the mountains. We're eating amazing because friends here at the RV park dropped off dinner. Otherwise, we would be eating peanut butter and jelly for the third time in a row. So, grateful for good friends. But look, got our boxes. Oh, no. oh no, we got spilled milk already. Somebody better start got crying. Boxes over here. Yeah. We're, uh, Moving in, guys. Moving in. 